What's anarchism? Anarchism is when anyone do, does whatever they want without concern for anyone else. What, what, what kind of image is that evoked for you? Chaos. 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 Anarchist seeks only ruin and destruction. ...of anarchism, a social philosophy which aims at the emancipation, economic, social, political, and spiritual of the human race. I love the anarchists because they, 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 they're not... the system change and, it's, and if it means that they got to act up to do it, um, do it. And the anarchists see the state and the church as the twin evils of oppression in modern society. In addition to opposing the state and wanting to abolish or do away with the state, all anarchists believe in decentralized form of society. They saw the great trends of the 1920th century seem to be, at least superficially, towards more and more centralization, great hierarchies, where the individual was losing his, his sense of individuality and his power to the state, both economic and political. So the anarchists were individualists, they were federalists in advocating a loose-knit, decentralized society. They were anti-statists. They were anti-militarists, passionately against warfare, preaching love and brotherhood rather than hatred and war. Vision the world without leaders, a system of mutual aid made up of interlocking federations and communes. The anarchists hoped their persistent educational efforts would pay off when the working classes would spontaneously rise up and overthrow their oppressors. Spain, during the Civil War of 1936, three million peasants and workers rallied under the banners of the anarchist organizations, the CNT and the FI, to fight the fascist uprising in Barcelona. Spanish anarchists organized a whole system of production and distribution, substituting barter for money and shop committees instead of bosses or central committees. Anarchist militias went to fight at the front, with soldiers free to come and go as they pleased. Collectives established libraries, free schools, and cultural centers, often in former churches and villas of the wealthy. For three years, anarchism existed in Spain. It was the culmination of nearly a century of agitation and organization that had created movements throughout Europe, Russia, and Latin America. dozens of brands and sub-factions of anarchy out there now, from anarcho-syndicalism to green anarchism to mutualism, and everything in between. It is clearly the best way and the only morally sensible way to run the world. That everybody should be the master of their own destiny. Everybody should be their own leader. What we need is an administration, at most. We don't need people to boss us about.